Hi friends, welcome to my channel. As seen from the previous video, the space vectors of three phase voltages, currents and flux, are three rotating vectors in the complex plane. The speed of their rotation, depends on the frequency omega of the three phase voltages and currents. In the complex plane, as shown in this figure, each vector, could be decomposed into a component on real axis and a quadrature component on imaginary axis. Such a decomposition could be carried out with respect to different reference frames. Importantly, control strategies will devised according to the models in the relevant reference frames. This video presents the two most widely adopted reference frames, and their relationships, which are the stationary reference frame, also called alpha beta reference frame, and the synchronous reference frame, also called DQ reference frame. One choice of the reference frame, is a stationary reference frame with the real alpha axis, aligned with the peak MMFFA, and the imaginary beta axis in quadrature. By projecting the space vectors of voltage and current, onto real alpha and imaginary beta axes, these vectors can be represented by this complex notations. Substituting the complex representations, into the space vector voltage equation, and equating their real and imaginary parts in both sides, respectively, gives the model of PMSM in the alpha beta reference frame. This model of PMSM will be used in the future videos, for a current controller design in the alpha beta reference frame. What is the relationship, between the current and voltage variables in the alpha beta reference frame, and the original three phase variables? This unique relationship is given by the Clark transformation. Taking the three phase currents as an example, the transformation of three phase variables, to their components in the alpha beta reference frame, is achieved by Clark transformation, using this. Using this figure, the transformation matrix is obtained by projecting I, A, I, B and I, C, on alpha and beta axes, respectively. Here, it is seen that the alpha axis is aligned with the direction of I current, which is also the direction of the peak MMFFA. In addition, I0 represents the zero sequence component of three phase current, and is zero for balanced three phase currents. Conversely, the inverse Clark transformation is defined as current and voltage variables in the alpha beta reference frame are all sinusoidal in nature because they are directly related to their original three phase current and voltage variables another reference frame is the dq reference frame where the direct axis d is always aligned with rotating flux produced by the permanent magnets of the rotor and the q axis is in quadrature because the rotor runs at the same speed as the supplying frequency at steady state it is also called the synchronous frame for pmsm change the reference frame to the DQ reference frame, as shown in this figure, it is equivalent to rotating the space vector in alpha beta reference frame clockwise by theta e. This rotation of space vectors is translated into multiplication by the factor, which leads to a set of new space vectors, for example, voltage space vector, current space vector. By projecting these transformed space vectors, into the real and imaginary axes, the current and voltage variables in the DQ reference frame are formed. Multiplying the original space vector voltage equation by the rotation factor, leads to the following equation. Therefore, from these two equations, the voltage equation in terms of the space vectors Vs' prime and Is' prime, has the following form. This is the fundamental equation, that governs the relationship between the voltage and current variables in space vector form, that leads to the dynamic model in the DQ reference frame. Now, substituting these two equations into this equation, and because the real and imaginary components from the left hand side are equal to the corresponding components in their right hand side, it can be shown that the DQ model of PMSM is the VD is obtained with the components from the real part, whilst VQ is from the imaginary part. There is a unique relationship between the variables in the alpha beta reference frame, and those in the DQ reference frame. The transformation of real and imaginary components in alpha beta frame, to its counterparts in the rotating DQ reference frame, is achieved by the so-called Park transformation, as shown in this figure, which leads to the current and voltage relations in the two reference frames. Theta E is the angle between the two reference frames, and also the electrical angle of the rotor. Inversely, the inverse Park transformation is defined as Combining Clark transformation with Park transformation, gives the Park Clark transformation from three phase values to their representations in the DQ reference frame. 
the extraordinary fact about the mathematical model in the DQ reference frame, is that the current and voltage variables are no longer sinusoidal signals, instead, they are DC signals. In other words, because of this, in the design of a control system, the reference signals to the closed loop system, could be constants or steps signals, which explains why PI controllers are widely used for this class of systems. In this video we have learned the Park-Clark transformation, and the inverse Park-Clark transformation. Additionally we have modeled the electrical part of the PMSM. To be able to complete the model of the PMSM, we model in the next video, the mechanical part using the electromagnetic torque equation. After that we will be able to simulate the PMSM. Thank you for watching, please do not forget to like the video, if you like it, and subscribe to my channel to stay up to date.